Dr. Fauci says it is inevitable that there will be a second wave of COVID-19. But President Trump says we are not going to close the country if there is a second wave. Is that the right approach? I think we're trying to learn right now very carefully about how you reopen safely. You know, we act like we've actually done this before. And besides 1918 and 1919, we've not ever closed parts of America. And even then, the whole country wasn't closed. 50 states are opening partially. Can they stay open in the fall if there's a resurgence? The president says he won't shut the country down again. I think what we need to have in the fall, what we need to have in place is really good data to track where the outbreaks are and where the virus is spreading at a local level. And we put up a tool today on the American Enterprise Institute website that tries to do that. It's just one tool. I think we need to develop better tools like this. And I know many people in the White House are working on this. Kevin Hassett, my friend in the White House, has been working on trying to get more data feeds and to build a tool that can help identify where the hotspots are early so that we can target measures so that we don't have to close down the whole economy and maybe don't even have to close down an entire state if there's an outbreak in a state but can focus on the counties getting testing to at-risk people and at-risk communities, trying to take local mitigation steps. So what you might see is local school districts close down as there are outbreaks, but not an entire state. We are preparing for that potential fall issue, both in PPE, which is protective devices, both in ventilators, stockpiles, and ensuring that we're really pushing on therapeutics and vaccine development so we can be ready if the virus does come back in a significant way. Um, I, it seems that the president is the one debating. I know one of your deputies is a big proponent of wearing a mask. Um, I, are you concerned that an example isn't being set by the Chuck, president? Chuck, this is my mask that I wear uh, at the office every day. I'm not wearing it here because the cameraman's six feet away from me and you're in the right. studio. So, uh, so we're safe. I'll put it on when we leave. But uh, we wear the mask in the White House, and uh, and the president's wore mask uh, where necessary. He did so at the Ford plant. Uh, but when the president's out speaking to the American people, or when he's speaking, and he, and, he, and if we meet with him in the Oval Office, our seat our seats are always moved uh, six feet or so away from the Resolute desk. Uh, uh, then there are times when you don't need to wear the mask. But I think Governor DeWine was spot on. Uh, when he talked about office workers mm -hmm. wearing the mask and 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 mask usage is going to help us get this economy reopened and we, we do need to get the country reopened because we can't get left behind by by china or, or, or others going into november do you think that it is possible you said maybe north of 20 percent next month do you think it's possible that unemployment will be in double digits in november Yes, I do. Uh, but I think that all the signs of economic recovery are going to be raging everywhere. And the only thing we're going to really be debating uh, as economists is, you know, are we going to get back to where we were? Or is it going to be kind of a long haul to get there?